Oh, all right. Um, yeah, more Mark Nanaga again from Lydia, PayPal, Patreon, Lydia. Um, wedding dress. This one's familiar. I think I've done this a studio version, maybe. Um, but yeah, this is obviously live. So let's go. This is a very cool vibe. Mark Anagan's cool. He's a cool motherfucker. Let's go. That's so subtle, but... There's a weird, this is one, because that backing, even though that backing, so that, is so gentle, but there's, it's just so moody. It's like um, Stone Roses. There's a line which I always say is the most gentlest, aggressive line ever written, which is in Stone Roses track where he says, it's just, the song's called Shoot You Down. B says, I'd love to do it, and you know you've always had it coming. And it's so tuneful, but yeah, he's talking, I'd love to do it, and you know you've always had it coming. Which is just so, it's, it's aggressive. Yeah. But this is what this is giving me. So gentle, but yet... Um, a, a weird, moody, aggression, like underlying, and that solo as well. There's just something about the sound, it sounds so quiet. Which I think when bands do slow, like quiet it down, it does cause you to listen. There's a blues player that says that if, if, if the crowd are being louder than the band, like if you're playing in a, in a bar, if they're being louder, then turn yourself down because then people will feel rude. But the more you turn up, the more they turn up. But if you turn it down, then their voices all of a sudden seem... And it also just makes people actually listen. Like, they're trying to listen to you then. And, yeah, this track just has that. And that solo as well, because that solo was, like, shredding, but then 
however they've set it up, it was both, it, it sounded like it should have been really loud, but it was, yeah, quiet, very, this is a very odd track, but fire. Would you put on that long white dress While I burn when there's no more Tomorrow's Will you remember me through the years I'll miss And forget all the sadness and the sorrows la 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 This guitar player. Thank you. Love that. Love the whole vibe of that track. Um, Mark Lanigan's cool as fuck. Let's just say that. But yeah, great, a great stage presence. Just the the. Well, the lack of it made it great. Like, they're both... The, I don't actually know who that girl is. But they're both just standing there. But there's something here yeah, very captivating about that. Also, you need to let me know who that guitar player was. And when he become Mark Lanigan and not Screaming Trees or any of the other forms of him, did he always have the same band? Because I didn't recognise that guitar player, and I didn't recognise his hand, because he had some tats on his hands that I don't remember seeing before. Um, but yeah. Who's he? Who's that guitar player? Because that guitar player was fire. That solo was so gently loud. Quietly loud. Which is, a, which is very weird. This is a very weird track. Very like actually, he's very diverse, Mark Lanigan, in what he does. I mean, the last track we did was a disco song, and then this, um, and it was almost yeah, very hypnotic. It's almost like a what's it? A, is it metronome? Is that the thing that goes from side to side? That's very hypnotic, and then his yeah, obviously Mark Lanigan doing Mark Lanigan. Um, great track. You never guess what as well. It's one of my favourite Mark Lanigans. Again. Um, but yeah, that was a great track. Great performance. But yeah. <laughs> That's the reaction. Sweet. <laughs> 